Hey guys, it's old folks here. So I was asked if I would do a review or overview on Gerber. Um, Gerber is a tank that can be gotten through the Abyssal Treasure. It uh, it's one of those things where you're kind of dependent upon how many coins you're finding, you know, and whatnot. So some people get it faster than others just because the chests they open up and the Abyssal Treasure go um, quicker. You can also purchase him. I'll go ahead and show this while I'm here just because I want to. In the wishing pool, if you've unlocked it, um, he'll be here every now and then. I think he's before Monkey. I don't really remember the, um, the things, but otherwise you've got to get him in the Abyss Treasure. From the Abyss Shop, it takes a thousand coins um, to get him. But hey, look, the server's coming down. Awesome. But anyways, um, you know, is he good? Is he not good? Well, obviously, as you can tell, I've got him silver starred. Um, I used him as well as Jacob, and before I had Kaiser, just because they were easier to get. He's not a bad tank early on. Uh, he does a decent job. Again, magic teams really kind of hurt him, but overall, he's not a bad tank. You know, it's it's kind of general consensus. Most guys say there's better tanks out there. Um, post eighty. You know, post-85, especially when Kaiser, people are waiting for a, a nerf because he's got his awakening. Now that Jacob has an awakening, uh, he's gone up in the ranks. So there's there's other tanks people prefer. Let's talk about his skills and we'll go from here. So basically, Soul Inception, this is the well-known ultimate where he grabs a, a copy, makes a copy of whatever hero he uses this on. Um, if, the, if that copy dies, it stuns Gerber. Um, this can be real useful in places like Crystal Dungeon um, on the one with Bilbo in there and there's a little shield guy if you clone the shield guy you get a shield um, for your whole team which is pretty phenomenal uh, so it can work good against certain NPCs it's it's okay against other characters you know they're obviously not as powerful but it's somebody they're targeting and it's also doing damage so it's it's a useful skill um, and it does a little chunk of damage too Soul Hammer um, they changed this in the last patch and so now basically it shoots a straight line uh, of damage so it can hit back row people from the front row uh, which is kind of nice um, you know is anything big yeah he's a tank he's designed to absorb stuff uh, recoil armor uh, basically um, this can recoil up to 50 percent of three skill attacks received plus an extra 5,000 damage which is nice I mean somebody hits you for 10,000 you're gonna reflect 50 percent of that plus your 5,000 so they're gonna get hit back for 10 grand um, but does that make him necessarily tanky? Eh, a little bit, not too much. And then Soul Shield, uh, basically he, every time he casts a skill he gets a shield. Um, it's kind of good at lower levels, but it's not great at higher levels. It doesn't scale as well as other people's skills do. So this scales off his level, or the other people scale off their level and their AD or their AP. This is just an all level thing so it just doesn't scale well uh, it's great at low levels not so much as people really start to dish out the damage uh, let's be honest 2,000 3,000 shield compared to you know my mirror is critting for 40 50 60,000 it's just negligent you know it's just not a lot um, you know if I look at his attributes you know we see he's got uh, 74,000 um, you know his attack power is not anything major to write home about his armor you know, ability power has got decent ability power for what he does. Magic resist is kind of right around there too, a little bit less. Um, but there's there's nothing really special about him that I would say. Um, because he doesn't have an awakening, you know, he falls short of some of the other guys here like Kaiser. You know, Kaiser's almost right up there with him. Um, plus he has the, the awakening skill that we're working on. Uh, I'm getting close to. Uh, increases magic resist for all beast heroes. You can put some fun teams together with that. Um, you can look at a, a large assortment of, of heroes. Jacob, Jacob's free in the sense of he's arena coin. So he's better than Gerber now because he won as a backline diver. Life steals. Um, works great with magic teams like a, a Merlin and whatnot that help get more life steal. So um, he's not a bad tank, you know, but then the question comes down to it. If we go back to the Abyss shop, you know, should I get him over some of the other stuff? Well, again, that's all your play style. Uh, if you're building an AD team, you know, a lot of guys like to go York. Um, get him the Frost Whale, 
Uh, he's going to add AD to all the AD people. So I don't want to get into everybody here and all sorts of different teams, um, obviously because this is a Gerber, you know, thing. But Gerber Gerber's not a bad tank for what he is for early on. Um, he's fine, but late game, you know, he just kind of falls off compared to some of the others. He's not a bad addition to have because, again, he is free. He's easy to get silver star, gold star, not necessarily, but silver star. And then when you're doing things like your brawl teams, you know, you've got an extra tank. Um, I'd probably say for me, he's probably my fifth or sixth uh, tank in the line of succession. Obviously, I prefer Kaiser or Jacob. And I'm staying out of the legendaries uh, just for that reason. I'm not, I'm not going to say, hey, let's compare legendaries. Um... I think there's a lot of other guys, especially you can start building uh, Uthers or the Belvedere's. Um, there's some great teams you can put there uh, down the road. Um, I've got a team I'm working on, Poulon. Uh, not on this account, obviously, but I've got a team I'm working on on this one that I'm trying to raise Leon. I'm trying to raise um, Loria here and uh, partner all that with Kaiser, you know, and, and Jacob. I'm going to have like a, a four or five man beast team just for fun to fool around with um just because i can but here's my thoughts on uther tell me or on uther <laughs> i'm doing good on gerber tell me your thoughts uh what you think you like about him what you don't like about him uh and gladly we can kind of debate about it talk about it and hopefully help people save some coins in the shop if they prefer to save it for someone else thanks for watching guys hope you have a great night